spiders have created a glue so powerful, it seems to defy the very laws of nature. When you think of glue, you probably picture the stuff you used in school. Sticky, messy, and well, kind of ordinary. Remember cutting out pictures and gluing them to cardboard, only for the edges to peel up minutes later? But what if I told you spiders have engineered a glue so advanced, it traps prey designed to escape, prey with natural defenses specifically to avoid getting stuck? Share your thoughts in the comments below. A team of researchers, led by Max W. Van Dyke, asked an intriguing question. How is the glue in spider webs different for spiders that hunt in different ways? After a lot of trial, error, and, of course, endless cups of coffee, they finally cracked the code. They published their discoveries in a paper titled Special Prey, Special Glue, NMR Spectroscopy on Aggregate Glue Components of Moth Specialist Spiders, Cerdarachninae, and what they found? You won't believe it. The researchers focused on orb-weaving spiders, the classic sit-and-wait predators of the animal kingdom. These spiders produce up to seven types of silk, five of which are used to build their webs. Structures that aren't just works of art, but are also lined with glue droplets designed to trap anything unlucky enough to fly into them. But here's the kicker. Moths, nature's expert escape artists, have developed a defense. They're covered in a sacrificial layer of scales that peels off when they hit the web, kind of like slipping out of a sticky situation by ditching your coat. That way, the moth flies off, and the spider is left wondering why it just caught a pile of scales instead of dinner. One subfamily of orb-weaving spiders wasn't having any of it, though. Over centuries, they evolved to create larger glue droplets with special properties. To crack the mystery behind these glue droplets, the researchers compared the web composition of this moth specialist group with two others, the generalist orb weavers and the bola spiders, who don't even wait for prey but swing their webs like ninjas. Using nuclear magnetic resonance, which is like a high-tech magnifying glass for molecules, the team zoomed in on the glue's chemical makeup. And trust me, what they found was anything but ordinary. The moth-catching spiders had a secret ingredient, a completely different set of low molecular mass compounds that weren't found in other spiders. Imagine baking cookies with a mystery ingredient that makes them stick to the pan. Well, that's what these spiders did with their glue. The moth specialists, for example, had high levels of betaine, N acetyltorin, glycine, and even something they named compound X, because no one knows what it is yet. Meanwhile, the generalist spiders had their own recipe, loaded with choline and gabamide. But here's the kicker none of the moth specialists had gabamide. It's like the moth catching spiders figured out a whole new formula, tailor made for catching those elusive, scale covered moths. But wait, there's more. This discovery isn't just some cool spider trivia. This glue could revolutionize the way we think about adhesives. Picture a glue that sticks perfectly to wet or slippery surfaces, like skin, during surgery. In my opinion, this study was incredibly well executed. The researchers clearly asked the right fundamental questions and significantly advanced our understanding of nature's remarkable adaptations. One thing I might have added, though, is using a synthetic glue as a control to compare how its low molecular mass compounds stack up against the spider's glue. But overall, they did an amazing job. And now, for this week's meme. Moths. We have evolved scales to escape sticky spider webs. Orb-weaving spiders. Hold my compound X. Join our mission to bring well-reviewed knowledge into every household. Stay curious, and I'll see you next Wednesday.